Vampire is a game that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. And after such a long wait, it's finally here. And so now the real question is, is it any good? Let's find out. Just gonna start a new game and here we go. Oh yeah, it's Vampire with a Y by the way. I don't know why. Warning! Even if based on proven medical knowledge from 19... Oh god, what is this? From 1918, for theatrical purposes, in other words, do not try to cure any disease with any of the recipes shown in this video game. You've been warned! Oh my god, look at all these bodies. That's pretty gruesome. Just look at that guy right there. He's not doing too good, huh? Holy crap, one's still kicking! So I'm gonna make the wild assumption that this is our character right here. Probably just after becoming a vampire. He's got some nice denim jeans right there. Probably got those at his local Peck son, Eddie Bauer. I don't think those were around back then. Oh wow, we're finally playing the game. I just gotta go to this big, oh, oh, it's blood. I thought it was like a big red X. Oh wow, I can see right to that lady's heart. Hey, uh, hey lady, how's, how's it going? Don't mind me. I'm just here to, here to drink your blood. Hehe, <laughs> sucker. My sweet brother. Oh my god, he killed his own sister. What a monster. Oh my god, they're trying to kill us. I mean, sure, we did just kill that lady, but still. Haven't they heard of due process? Fair trial? Honor among thieves? Something. I mean, the least they could do is try and negotiate. Take this, you vampire hating son of a gun. Yeah, that'll show him. Maybe he won't be so rude next time. Hey, did you forget about this? You, f you forget about that time he killed his sister? Like, three minutes ago? Do you have the memory of a goldfish? Cause here you go, just a reminder. So right off the bat, the animations of the character are a bit wonky and stiff. Everything feels fine, it just looks kinda weird. Especially when you try and change direction. Oh man, I don't think that lady's doing too good. Looks like she's got some kind of serious medical problem. Probably just needs some ibuprofen or something. That'll fix her right up. No, oh, what are you doing? No, don't go on that bed, it's disgusting. All right, fine, but if you get some horrible disease, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh no, wait, hold on a second there, big guy. You don't need to go out like this. You still have so much left to accomplish. Rational thinking only. Yeah, but you're not being rational, I just, just put down the gun, I mean, we barely started the game, we've been playing for like five minutes, there's still plenty of stuff to do. <laughs> well, looks like that's the end of the game, I hope you guys enjoyed this, it was kind of short, but, you know, I guess you get what you get. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and, oh, never mind, it was just a trick. I guess that makes sense, I mean, he is a vampire after all. Wow, he lost a lot of blood. So it looks like we can finally level up our character, and oh boy, do we have a lot of options. But I can only choose autophagy? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. And also, I can get a sweet new attack. Blood spear. It's a spear made of blood. That's disgusting. There, now we're more powerful than ever before. No one can kill us. Oh, no, never mind. My strength. My reflexes. I'm not human anymore. Yeah, congratulations, Einstein. You figured it out. You're a freaking vampire. Of course, you're not human anymore. You came back from the dead. And you'd think you would have noticed before. But I guess not. Oh, we finally found some people who aren't immediately trying to kill us. It's about time. Hey guys, how's it going? Don't mind me. I'm just like you. Just ignore all the blood and the vampire bite and the fangs and the spooky haircut. I'm just an average Joe. Just like you. I put my denim pants on one clawed foot at a time. Uh, did, did you hear about those, those baseball guys? They sure know how to hit a baseball. Right? I'm just a regular guy. Oh good, there's crafting in this game. Actually, you know what? It's not that bad. I don't mind it here. I mean, it's not as painful and annoying as it is in most games, so that's good. Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Yes, and by better place, we mean your grave. Do I want to embrace him? Yeah, I, I guess so. Yes, delicious blood. This district will soon suffer the consequences of your actions. That doesn't sound good. What kind of consequences? Bad ones, probably. Oh, okay, so it appears that the consequence for killing people is that the city slowly falls into disrepair. I don't know how that'll impact the game, but I would imagine it's not a good thing. Oh, and apparently an even bigger consequence for killing people is they might have had some important side quests or story elements, and now I may have missed out on that because I killed that guy earlier. 
Also, if I let that guy live longer, I could have learned his secrets to try and increase the amount of XP I would get for killing him, which, you know, would have been good. All right, so after having played this game for quite a bit now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It's pretty awesome, which is a serious relief because usually with these indie games, you don't really know what you're gonna get. Speaking of which, I was expecting this game to be very linear. However, after the first chapter, it actually opens up into this pseudo open world environment. So now I can explore and meet new people and see what's going on around London at my heart's content. It's not the insanely large open world you'd find in Assassin's Creed, but I think that's a good thing because those worlds are just too big. Instead, this game feels like it's the right size it needs to be. And every area actually has some purpose, which is nice to see because most game devs these days seem to be unable of grasping that concept. I'm looking at you, Ubisoft. Although, as much as I do like this game, I do have to admit the combat is not very good. It's super repetitive, and it's really clunky. But the worst part about it is the stamina meter, which is tied to your ability to attack, dodge, and sprint. And it runs out in mere seconds. And when it's empty, you can't do any of those things. It's annoying. I mean, at the very least, they could let me dodge. That would make this way more tactical. But instead, it's just like, hopefully you kill him in time, otherwise you screwed. Also, I find it strange that there aren't any traditional stealth options. Based on the design of the game, I can understand why there aren't, but when I think of vampires, I think of sneaky, backstabbing bloodsuckers. But well, maybe that's just me. So ultimately, if you're hoping this would be a great vampire action game, then you're gonna be pretty disappointed. However, if you were like me, hoping for a game where you have to deal with the social struggles of being a vampire in a world that wants to kill you, then you're gonna be really happy. Because this game does that very well. There are plenty of people to interact interact with, each with their own problems, and you can either choose to help them, or kill them, or do both. And that has me pretty excited, because I love making tough choices like that. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video so I can get back to playing some more of it. So I'll see you guys next Thursday. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, and goodbye.